here. I am coming to you today with a guest design team layout for Dottie About Flare. My good friend Adam, Scrappy Adam, owns that. And these are the awesome buttons that he makes. Look at all the awesome buttons that he sent me. Aren't they super pretty? Look at all those. So you get regular size and then he makes these big ones too. How cool is that? And there's the back of them. They all look like that. So he gave me all these to choose from. I love them. I will link below at Scrappy Adams' YouTube channel, his Facebook group, and I'm super happy to announce that he has launched his website this weekend. Yay, Adam! So I will link all that below. Let's get to the layout here. I have chosen to use these three buttons here that Adam sent to me. I love them. They go really well with what I'm about to scrap. <clears throat> and I'm scrapping this super cute photo of my niece when she was little. She's going to be 20 next month, so that's really cute. But look at how cute she is, right? Look at that smile. I love it. And I did back it off camera with a Simple Stories frame that I turn the other way and then I put fun foam behind the photo and then I put another piece of pattern paper in a dark blue color so the collection I'm using today is let it snow by echo park and um, I did pick this up at Tuesday morning so I don't have a ton of embellishments the little kit that I got did come with a sticker sheet and a couple sheets with ephemera so I'm going to utilize some of these stickers here at the end too isn't this collection super pretty so I have picked out all these beautiful pattern papers from the collection look at how pretty these are aren't they gorgeous I literally am going to do a ton of just using paper and I just want to use up this little collection that I have. I have had it for a while and I haven't touched it yet. So I really want to. So we're going to use all those papers. This is a 10 by 10 piece of paper. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down relatively, like, excuse me, right in the middle of my background paper, which I should talk about is this beautiful, like, cream color it's from the collection it's the opposite side of this and i just love it so i decided to use it as my background this because the last thing i want is for the base piece to be crooked so let's think about this a little bit i'm not concerned about it being right directly in the middle of the page because I'm going to have lots of pieces of paper going in all different directions and sizes. I just wanted to make sure that was down straight. And then next I have this. And then I was thinking of putting in this blue to put a barrier between these two pieces of paper because they're so similar. So let's do something like that. I'm just using these other two pieces to test where I might want that. Let's go ahead and do that with my ATG. I'm not gonna put a ton of ATG down because this is gonna go straight into her album and I'm not worried about anything coming unglued. All right, let's get this. Now, I think I want it like that, so let's put this here. And then, just want to make sure it's where I want it because I want it straight, but I want to be able to see red on the top and this right hand side here. And then next, I'm going to do the blue to separate these two white papers, like I said. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Let's get that done. Let's see how big is this about right there that sounds good so let me get this straight okay good good show a little bit on top side and the bottom and then I'm going to want to put this right in the middle of that blue so I have some blue on the top and the bottom so 
So let's get that down. I hope everybody's doing good. It's freezing here in New York. Oh my goodness. We are below zero and literally I had to leave my kitchen faucet dripping all weekend so the pipes wouldn't freeze. It was ridiculous. So I'm having a scrapbook weekend and I do have one day off from work, which makes me very happy. <laughs> and I'm just going to stay in my pajamas all weekend long and scrapbook. All right, now I'm going to put this here. So these two papers next to each other I don't want, but if I put my photo like right there, it, this black, excuse me, dark navy blue from this paper separates <clears throat> these two patterns. And then I'm going to put embellishments around and just cover that right up. So let me go ahead and put my picture down. I am only going to tape it in the middle because I'm definitely putting embellishments around it. And then once I'm done, I do go back in with my fine liner and I just glue down the corners after I'm done embellishing. Let me show you this really cool thing I just got. Creative Memories Photo Polishing Cloth. Oh my goodness, it's awesome. I just got it in the mail yesterday. So you take it and then you can use it to dust off your picture or get any fingerprints or anything that you have on your picture. And then you can also use it after you put your adhesive and you don't want to use your fingers to press. So you would just use this to press. Isn't that great? I will link my Creative Memories website below. I am a consultant, mostly just for myself so I can buy things. <laughs> but anybody needs anything, you can use my website and ask me any questions. All right, so we have all this done. What do you think so far? Super cute, right? I have my little embellishment tray excuse my arm there I have picked out a bunch of stuff I might want to use and I also went ahead and cut a bunch of leaves with some metal dies I'll show those to you I picked out these let me show you this long one and this one Aren't those gorgeous? Those are both from Pink Fresh Studio, if you like them. And let me see what else do I have. Some twine. I tied a bow off camera because that's always a struggle for me. And then, of course, I have lots of leaves. And then this is from the Ephemera from the collection. I thought I might use those. This is a piece of Bramble Fox. It says Memories that I was thinking about using. And I went ahead and punched out a tab with just my punch, my tab punch. This is a doily metal die that I believe I got from In Love Art Shop. I'll link that below too. And a couple tags from the ephemera kit that I liked. And at first I was thinking I was going to put this here, but too much blue. And then I decided on the red. So I'm going to use this elsewhere. So let's go ahead and start embellishing. I'm excited about it. <clears throat> so I was thinking, I love putting doilies like right in the corner of my photo. And I'm so particular. See how there's that, <clears throat> excuse me, line here from that pattern paper. I want to cover that up in a way that it doesn't look funny and it'll be seamless, I guess you'd want to say. So... That's how picky I am. I'm going to go in with my fine liner bottle and just get that secured in place. Do that just a second. And then I will glue things down way better off camera at the very end. And then what else was I thinking? How about if we put just a really cute tag here and this little teeny one next to it. Now I have these cute tags from the ephemera sheet which I like. I put some white and gold sparkly twine in there because I think I'm going to do gold splatters at the end, which would be really pretty, wouldn't it? Hmm, let me see. Maybe if I tucked this in there, let me pull this up a little bit. Tuck that in there a little bit. That would look cute. 
and then bring this down here. Now with the middle of the tags, I'm so particular. I wouldn't want half white and half red to be showing through that hole. So I would definitely want to put this all over on the white. I want to leave a little space between this tag and this photo because I don't want the blue on the blue. If you can see how my brain works. <laughs> so I like that. Let me go ahead and commit. And I always end up putting twine of some sort on my tags because I just feel, for me personally, that they're unfinished if I don't. I grab my tweezers. You guys know I can't do anything without my tweezers. Tuck that in there. That's a good placement. All right, go ahead and put that down. And then I'm going to tuck this in here. Yeah, that looks cute. All right, let me go ahead and put some glue on that. I think I want this down just a little bit lower. Yeah, that's better. See how big I am? And then I do put a little dollop of glue right where the tie is on my twine because I don't like it moving around once it gets into the album. Kind of drives me crazy when it does that. I'm going to glue down just the corner here of this tag. Grab up any excess. And then I did make this bow, like I said, off camera. I'm going to put that there. It's always such a struggle to make a pretty bow, isn't it? We are memory keepers should come up with a thing, a tool that you can put twine in and then it just makes a bow for you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? And then here's that punch tag that I made. I thought that in the red on this would be super cute. Because there's this tab here, I wonder, are there any sentiments on this? That I could use. Oh, this is cute. Winter Wonderland. And I have to tell you, you guys, the reason that I selected this collection is because I thought that it went really good with her sweater, don't you? One says bundle up. And I like that better because it's bigger. So I'm going to commit to that. And again, perhaps I can find some place to use that at the end. I'm going to stick it over to the side for now. All right. I was thinking maybe just putting that there. I know it covers up the mittens and what it's saying, but I really don't think I mind that too much. It's okay with me. Yeah, I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to that. Put some glue on there. Tuck that in. Get it lined up. Just so it's peeking through a little bit. It's okay with me that you can't see it. Now, before we get going, and I forget to put my title on here, I'm going to put this piece of Bramble Fox right across the chipboard frame. And I'm using this Bramble Fox because my friend Adam absolutely loves Bramble Fox. So I'm putting some on there for him. Okay. Little glossy accents. So I'm just going to put it right there. I'm just going to hold it for just a moment. And then it'll be fine. And then before it dries too much, I really wanted to get this leaf down in there. But I don't know if I like it. So let's play around with that just a little bit. All right, that's cute. I'm definitely going to leave that there. So let me get my glue, hold it down, flip the top up, just a little glue so it adheres to the chipboard frame. I was thinking about putting this down there again. You can, it's being covered up just a little bit. I don't think I care because it wouldn't look good there, but I do think it looks really good there. And you can see it. And you're going to look at a scrapbook page from different angles. So it's okay with me. A little bit of glue. Use my tweezers to sneak that in underneath there. 
and it's winter time she wasn't in the snow but i think it looks cute so we're just going for it then i picked out this really pretty like dark what forest green maybe thread i'm gonna do like four or five good tugs on this cut that off i just hit it like this and then you just make a circle with your thread and just be messy don't think about it too much or it comes out better if you don't think about it i should say i'm going to go ahead and just tuck that under there i'll put <clears throat> a little bit of glue so it stays but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a flare right there i want to put my flare up on um Foam squares. Oh my goodness. Can't even think of the words that I need to use. So I'll put one right in the middle here. It's got the indentation so you can get a foam square in there and it doesn't make your layout even more dimensional than it already is, which I do appreciate. I like that a lot, Adam. Okay. So. Excellent. Just put thinking about tucking one of these up here like this. These are awesome leaves. They're really long, which I love. So I'm going to tuck it underneath here. There. And then have it just come up the page out of the frame. I wouldn't want the bottom of the leaf to stick out like that. That would bother me. So I'm definitely going to tuck that, the bottom of it in there so it looks like it's kind of growing out of the picture type situation i know that's weird but that's how i am i'm just gonna put a tiny dollop of glue on the leaves themselves grab any excess that comes up let's go ahead and get this in there so it's kind of coming out from the photo again but wrapping up around this doily cluster Okay, yeah, that looks cute. Good, so I hold it down, pull up with my other finger, just because once I get something where I want it, I hate when it moves, drives me crazy. And then you just go ahead and stick everything back down again. Very easy. Put some more glue onto this doily. All right, I think that's good. I definitely want to get some more leaves in here. Oh, that looks good. Let's put some in there. I'm going to go ahead and put glue down on the tips of these leaves here. And then I will tuck this in. Just let it be where it wants to be. Good. It's like that. I think this button matches perfect with her sweater, don't you? I think I'm going to do that. And then... I'm going to pull this up. Because I think it would look better on this button. Yes, it does. Yay! I love it when plan comes together. So I'm going to put a foam square under this. And I do think that I put that on crooked. And you know how I am. So I'm going to use the lines of the pattern in this beautiful button to get that straight. Then I'm going to push down super hard because I've goofed around with it, what, three times now? Put that there. Oh, I like it. Okay, so now we have two buttons try sneaking it in over here now i'm not sure if that's gonna look good because it's next to text paper i don't know that's all right yeah why not we're going for it looks good okay i'm gonna leave that there and let me see what else do i want to do i have a couple more leaves let's get those in 
Oh, let's put one under here. Right in that cluster there. That looks really good. Let's see if I can maybe get some use out of this one. That leaf looks goofy where we cut it, so I'm going to trim that off. And then we can use this pretty piece here somewhere too. I wonder where we can tuck it in. Do you think we can tuck it in here? I'm going to spread my buttons around. Maybe I can get one there. Or, you know what? I really like it right there. Yeah, I like it there. So let's put a foam square on that one too. Oops, sorry, that was loud. Get that right there. How do I want this pattern? Up and down? Mm, this way. Nope, that way. I want to see a little bit of that snowflake. Because I think the white breaks it up over here. Alright, and let's go ahead and get this stuck down. Slide this back underneath here. That looks good. Oh, this one came up because I never glued it. All right. Let's see if I can get back underneath there again. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I did go ahead and put some thread underneath that second flare button here. I didn't put any over here, but that's okay. I want to, to get these stickers on here. I have to use this. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's think about where we can put this. I'm going to get that off without ripping it. Could you imagine going through all that work and then ripping it? Let's see if it sneaking it under here looks good. Let me just see. I don't mind that at all. I think that's super pretty. Let's just make sure. Because it might look cute here too. Well, it would. I wish I had two or three of those. I have to get a die that has like these fern leaves. That would be gorgeous. Now, I want to put a foam square underneath this because then it will be this up higher, like the chipboard and the flare, and it will look better. Like that. I'm wondering if I could pull it out just a little bit more because I want to see some more of those cones, the pine cones. Yeah, that looks good. I think I'll put some more underneath here and here off screen too, just to make sure that it doesn't flatten in the book and it looks low here and high here. So I'll stick some more in there. Let me think about getting something over here. I found this on the sticker sheet. I'm wondering if I can tuck that in there. Let me just pop this back up, hopefully without ruining everything. And I want to look at all the stuff stuck to my hand. This is how I work. <laughs> kind of tuck it in here. Make sure it doesn't hit this red tab. Let me see. That looks cute. I don't mind that. It makes this a little busy right here, but I don't. It doesn't make any difference to me. More is more. All right. And since I messed around with this so much, I'm now going to add glue to my foam square because. I don't want it to pop off from being on my hand. Yeah, I don't mind that either. Hold that down for just a second. Look at this gorgeous snowflake I just found. Looks good. What color? Let's put some a different color here because we have so much green. So let's try this red one. Too big. There's a little tiny, tiny red one. We can use it sort of like an enamel dot. I like it up here better. And then perhaps 
Oh, that's cute. The little teeny green one there. And then... Yeah, that's good. Let's tuck that under there so it's all on the blue. But then we add some green in here. I was thinking about putting a different color, but it is what it is. Hmm. Oh, how about putting this right on the gorgeous flare button? I saw Adam do that, and I never would have thought about it if I hadn't seen him do that in one of his layouts. I like that a lot. All right, now we're going to come in with some blingy bling. You know me. I love bling. These are little honey bee stamp gems. They are my favorite. The adhesive on the back of them, oops, I just lost that one, is spectacular. You do not have to use glue with these, and that's the reason why I buy them, because, oh my god, gluing and then getting a tiny, tiny little gem on something? No. I don't have the patience for that. All right. Did I miss any? How many did I put down? I think I got them all. Yep, one more snowflake sticker. Sticker. Get another little gem in the middle of that. All right, that's good. I think we're good. Now, I'm going to do gold splitters. But before that, I was thinking, what about this um, Nouveau? This is Glitter Drops, and it is in Honey Gold. I think that the gold would look really good on this. I'm okay with mixing gold and silver together. I think it looks good. I'm going to use my Altenew ink sprays. This is Antique Gold. Let me see if I have something to cover her up with. I definitely don't want anything on her face. I don't... I'm going to do my best to keep it in here by just using my hand. Okay, I am all done. So, what I did was, it's all final. I was able to use three flare buttons on my layout. I'm very excited about that. I did end up putting a border strip from the sticker sheet over here. And I didn't like how it ended. It wasn't straight flush across. So, I just put a snowflake sticker there and a gold star from Bramble Fox up in that corner. I don't usually do that, but I thought it was a good alternative that, to not liking how the edges ended. So here's a little cluster up on top of the doily. And here's a cluster down here, which I really like. And I love that Bramble Fox Memories. That looks really pretty on that frame, doesn't it? We'll put a tree in there. And this is super cute photo. I was very excited to be able to use so much of this pattern paper and get on the three buttons. So I will put close-up pictures at the end. Thank you so much for watching. And Adam, congratulations on your new website and your success with Daddy About Flair. Thank you so much for having me guest design for you this month. And thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye.